And the hummingbirds still are visiting this feeder, but it's very getting pretty low. Yes, hello. Yes. Yes, Thelma, how are you? Did you have a good night? We have to uh, do some research because those they have those children, you know, and the children, guess what they want to eat always from McDonald's hamburgers. And I said, well, that's not where we want to go. So... <laughs> So today, Mietek, we are bringing in a lady who came especially to our celebration from Massachusetts. Oh, good heavens. Yeah, and she's even older than you and I. She's 87. So we will be in good company. Thank you. Thank you, Canada. Thank you, New Brunswick, for giving me this wonderful, wonderful life in this country. And as a Pole, I was always very proud of the fact that here I am from Poland and still I can contribute, maybe even more than other people that have all lived here all their lives. Those who overcome all obstacles, those who dream big instead of withdrawing into themselves, those who always try to improve themselves, and those who strive to make the impossible, possible. We are all very, very lucky to live in a country where anything is possible. And that it is up to each and every one of us to reach our highest goals. On behalf of the people of Canada, I would like to extend our heartfelt admiration and uh, to express the gratitude of the entire country, we welcome you today among the ranks of extraordinary Canadians. Mary Micah. <laughs> For more than 40 years, Mary Micah has championed nature conservation, environmental advocacy, and heritage preservation in New Brunswick. A determined and passionate volunteer, she played a key role in the designation of Mary's Point in the Bay of Fundy as Canada's first Western Hemisphere shorebird reserve. As president of the New Brunswick Federation of Naturalists and the Albert County Heritage Trust, she helped to protect and preserve her province's wildlife and historic and natural sites. With the donation of a parcel of family land, to the Nature Conservancy of Canada. She leaves an environmental legacy that will benefit generations of New Brunswickers. Dr. Micah. I was so moved that I began to cry. That best describes my feeling. Of course, this is such a great honor. And actually, several times I thought to myself, here you sit in the most important Canadian house, because it is like a palace, truthfully, for Canada. And the representative of the Queen is awarding you this medal. And you are from Poland. You arrived here such a poor emigrant, with a sack on your back, as they say, knowing nothing about this country. As soon as we were able, as soon as my husband finished his specialization in pathology, we moved to New Brunswick, and there we found that fragrant sap. This is the place because of the people and the landscape and the nature. I just thought this is where I want to spend the rest of my life.
Mietek! Breakfast is imminent. You could okay. bring me the plate, please. Oh, I thought I already gave you those. Mietek, you can take off your collar. I don't know why Europeans never use scissors for cooking. This is a special cooking. For example, instead of cutting the um, um, uh, uh, green uh, greens, like for example, onion greens and so on, uh, by hand or, or on the thing. We left truly terrible conditions in Europe after the war. There we survived very difficult circumstances. As students we were very poor. We lived in barracks. So as soon as we left Europe and came here, for me, for me this was like paradise. I thought to myself, finally I am calm. I am not upset. Finally I don't have to fight for every scrap of bread. And I would like to repay these Canadians somehow. So, you can go now to the table. Yeah. Breakfast is okay. ready. Because our life here was so very uh, rewarding, um, I somehow felt right from the start that I would like to reciprocate. I would like to give something to this country and especially to New Brunswick. And so, uh, being from Poland, um, I wanted also to say, uh, here we are, we are uh, coming here to this country, first as guests and then as citizens who may have uh, accepted, and we want to give something to, we want to uh, contribute. And I was able to do this contribution very uh, easily because this country simply needed all sorts of things that, that needed to be done. One of them was to protect nature. And as you can see, the nature is all around us. So I just needed to point out to people here, this is something that you should treasure. They might not have ex expected this or might not have realized that this was something that is very important. Like, for example, the sorbets that I... Uh, people have seen those sorbets for years and years. Uh, they never thought that those birds are of any spectacular uh, nature, or they never thought that they need to be protected. So I pointed this out. As a Polish person, uh, I have given Canada and New Brunswick something. Uh, and this is, this is one of my presents. Oh, there's a, a small flock of shorebirds. I think a falcon must have uh, come past and the scared pendant. them up. Yeah. Oh. They're coming here. They're they're actually going to mayfly right over the house. No, they're switching, heading back towards the bay a bit. It is a bit foggy. Oh yes, I can see them. Yeah. Okay. It's a bit foggy today, but you can see Nova Scotia across. There's the, one plover at bay. least amongst them. The sun is just coming out. Look. It's going to be a nice day again. <coughs> okay, well, uh, this year we don't have that many birds as we usually have, but we no. have had the last few years, we have had always the same thing. i got to go over park at Michelle's house or something and just watch the bay uh -huh. when the tide is coming in and see where the birds, because there's... You know, last night when I went for a walk with the dog, there was 40,000 at least mm -hmm. feeding down here on the mudflat. Mm -hmm. But when the tide comes in, they take off and they're going and sitting somewhere else rather than on the beach here. I think it I has to do with the it. peregrines. The peregrines are chasing mm -hmm. them too much. Maybe. In, my, in the bay, mm -hmm. which has a camera. Uh, Thank you. Oh. 
celebration. Uh, last year we have had the opening of a shipyard. This year we are going just to celebrate the shipyard, the shipyard owner uh, whose birthday is today and also uh, the people who have been creating their ships. that worries about our future when uh, most of us who are a bit younger should be worrying about it but Mary does a great job at looking after us.